Here we are. Panau Islands. Southeast Asia's best kept secret. It's agency territory, right? US friendly. Not anymore. And that's why we're here. Someone not dancing to Uncle Sam's tune? The old president was assassinated by the new president, Pandak Panay, his son. And he won't pick up the phone. He doesn't sound much like a people person. Right. He's attempting to eliminate all opposition. Sheldon was trying to figure out his agenda when he disappeared. So, what? He's gone dark before. Not like this. Worst case scenario, he's gone rogue. So what's in it for him? I don't know, Rico. But if he has turned, you gotta take him out. That's a bitter pill, Kate. Sheldon taught me everything I know. Which is why you're here. You know his M.O. <sighs> I can't argue with that. We gathered all available intel onto these memory cards. Marshall here will download them onto your PDA. Damn it! That's incendiary stuff on those cards. If they fall into the wrong hands, it's gonna be one hell of a firestorm back in Washington. Ugh. Whoa! The natives are restless! Someone doesn't like us. Panau and military. I recognize the flak. We sold them those guns. Get back from there! Ugh. Ah! Oh, hell. I was running out of ammo anyway. Don't wait up! Marshall's is dead, but he's still got your PDA. Catch up with him before he crashes into the ground. Hang tight. 
I'm gonna make a pass around that building. Get your guns out and deal with any rooftop hostiles. Kane, you better get a move on! I'm inbound. Stand fast and give him hell. Fire! Running out of options, Kane! Don't worry. Use the grenade. Do your stuff. I'll be there soon. Well, you better make it quick, or you'll have to bring me back in a dog food can. The idea appeals to me, but somehow I doubt it's gonna happen. This is getting ridiculous, Kane. Next time it's you on the ground and me in the chopper. Chain of command, baby. It's all about chain of command. For the element of surprise. Yeah? Oh, you think we blew our cover? You got the memory cards, so I guess we're still one step ahead. And where does that step take us? The agency's last contact here on Pinal, Carl Blaine. What's his story? A Swedish ex-charity worker, now a professional gambler and alcoholic. And we trust a guy like that? No, but we've got no choice. Blaine knows more about this island than anyone. Now kick back for a while. Enjoy the ride. Okay, here we are. Let's go find Blaine. People of Panau, it is I, your beloved president. Today I have issued the order to close down and clear out the den of foreign decadence called Panau Falls Casino. All foreign nationals in this casino will be rounded up and tried before deportation. Let it be known that those who harbor foreign criminals and unpatriotic scum 
will be brought before the court and I've seen some dumps in my time. But this, this place... It's worse than we expected. Who are you and what is your business here? I'd be careful now. We're friends of Carl's. <laughs> Carl has no friends. Apart from you, Jade Tan, you're his girl, right? Huh. You must be spooks. Spooks, hoping to talk to Carl. You are way too late, lady. He's at the casino. What? That casino? Sure. That's where he makes his living. Yeah, we're dying ain't much of a living. We need to get there. Fast. Then you better hop on. They'll swap that bird out of the sky on sight. I gotta go. But I'll keep an eye on you. Help you out if I can. So, honey, let's go. Adios! Your stop. If you hurry, you might just save his sorry ass. You don't think too highly of him. If the government gets their hands on Carl, they'll sure come looking for me too. So, as of right now, I'm over the bum. And out of here. Maybe I see you again. Or maybe not. This island is a playground to some, but a graveyard to others. Salamat Jalam, Spook! Done for you. I'm not here to help you. Unless you can help me find Tom Sheldon. What? I thought it was with you guys. Oh, he was. But now he's our primary target. Oh, ho, ho. ain't no love in the world of international espionage, baby. So you know where to find him? Sure. Good. Now hold on tight. What are you doing, you idiot? Up, up, and away. Oh. You really are one crazy SOB. But I am called Blaine, drunk and disorderly. Now let's go to my car here and I drive you to my crib. What? My beautiful car in the ditch! I love this effing ride, man. I can't drive any other car. Pull it out of here somehow. Get up 
up on the roof, my man. You fight better from there. Get going. The government goons are on our tail. We gotta hurry. I was one bullet away from meeting my maker. Oh, you'll still meet him. Unless you get me to Sheldon. Relax, buddy. We'll find him for you. No trouble. Find him where? Well, what I hear is that he went up jungle, started some kind of rebel gang. Fighting for the government, fighting against the government. So much rumor. So get me to this rebel gang. That, that won't be easy. You want me to throw you back to those dogs? But it's not impossible. There are three major criminal gangs on the island. You get in real friendly with all of them, and they sure lead you all the way to Sheldon. Here, give me your PDA. You want my PDA? I need to download for you the intel on these gangs. Okay. But if you mess with me, I will kill you. Ah, home sweet home. Wow, this PDA is some high-tech stuff. Hey, where are you going? I'm downloading the locations, contacts I told you about. 
That way you can get in real close with these guys. Real close and cozy, you dig? I can't just waltz up and say, Hey, I'm a criminal, and I'd like to work for your organization. Sure, so I'll just tell old crooks of this island that an international gun for hire is visiting Panal. A uh, Mr. Uh, Scorpion. They're always looking for new talent. Okay, but I'll need guns and vehicles. I'll put you in contact with a black market dealer I know. Here, use these beacons to contact him. If these things fail, believe me, I'm coming back for you. My name is Bolo Santosi. I am the leader of the revolutionary army known as the Reapers. Our goal is for the people of Panau to break the chains of oppression and rise up as one. I hear you are looking for able-bodied comrades. You are the Scorpio, no? I hear you are very skilled. They tell me I am the best. Of course they do. How come you want to join our cause? I'll be honest, comrade. I have my reasons. I'm contracted to find and kill an American. I might be able to help you with that. Who is it? A very dangerous man, with a price on his head. But to do this, I need the help of your organization, which they say is the best at finding sensitive data. Fair enough. It is true that we have eyes and ears everywhere. And it is also true that the Reapers need someone of your caliber. We can make this work. I'll do any dirty work you throw at me. But you let me know anything, you hear? Deal? I think we do have a deal, comrade. So you wish to be a comrade of the Reapers? Then listen. That pig president Pane is always looking for new ways to suppress the people. There's a place high in the mountains called the Gunung Gila Pankat facility, where the military does secret research. The thin air up there is advantageous in their research on jet propulsion and rocket fuel. These secrets would better serve the liberation of the people. So we will capture that facility for the Reapers. Help us conquer this mountain, Mr. Scorpion. And maybe we can be friends. Go with my people! Your comrades! Is the place. Go take me while I hack into the system, Scorpio. Contact on my
welcome. I am Sri Irwan, chief of the Yulars. Panau is our birthright, and we are prepared to die protecting it. My group of warriors is always looking for help in our never-ending battle against the foreign devils. That's what they tell me. Indeed. Your reputation precedes you. They call you Scorpio. You are known to be a skilled gunman. I'm known to get the job done. But surely you're not here only to look for work, huh? The truth is, I'm looking for an American. An American, huh? I'm intrigued. Yeah. A very dangerous American. With a big price on his head. People tell me you would be the one to know where to start looking for such a man. Ah, oh, but you flatter me, La. But of course I will have my people look. And in the meantime, you can work for me. Deal? Deal. I'll do as I'm told and keep my mouth shut. You'll dig up anything on this American and ask no questions. Hmm, that sounds fair, Sir Dadu. Know this, Scorpion. We Yula boys ever strive for the shift of power on Panam. And what can generate more power than the fission of atoms, I ask you? We are currently not far from the Awan Chendawan nuclear power plant. It is a place that can provide its own much power in many ways. And soon it will belong to the Yulas. But my brave soldiers need your help to take over the power plant, La. Do this, and you will make me a radiant man, Sel Dadu. Let my people lead you there, Scorpio. Walk with the spirits! Don't disturb me when I hack you, bastard! I get very angry! Let me introduce myself. I am Razak Razaman. Some call me Reza. I am the leader of the outfit known as the Roaches. I hear you might be looking for help. Right you are. I have heard about your handiwork, Scorpio. I do what I have to do to get the job done. Ah, that is good. I hope we can reach a mutually beneficial agreement. I'll be honest, Mr. Asman. I have my reasons. I'm contracted to find and kill an American. Interesting. Do tell me more. A very dangerous man, with a price on his head. And they say you are the one to ask. Indeed. If you work for me, you will enjoy all the benefits of our organization, just like one of our own. So, 
I'll work for you. And you keep me in the loop. Ha! <laughs> you are very to the point! No chit-chat. I respect that. You have a deal. I am a businessman, Scorpio. I supply what my customers demand. And now the demands of Panao have outgrown my local businesses, and it is time to expand operations. Belabuhan Saudagar is the greatest harbor in Panao, and has always been a great conduit of contraband for businessmen such as myself. Sadly, the president has locked down the harbor to any comers other than that of the government. I need you to help us seize that harbor. It is time Pelabuhan Saudagar got a new harbor master! Let my men lead the way! Coast is clear! Move out! We're here! Scorpio, watch my back while I hack into the system on this terminal! Stand fast now, Rochers! Here come the government's dogs! There he is! Damn it, keep them away! I just need to watch! Looking for Ken Pang. The sloth demon told me you'd know where he is. Ken Pang, you say? Rings a bell, hmm, but I don't know who you are. Mm, ah, yes, Ken Pang. Now I remember. He has run into some bad trouble with his gambling debts. I hear they are going to have him executed. If you hurry to the old gambling warehouse in the desert, you might still catch him alive. A pleasure doing business with you. Considering the value of the Panwan buck, shooting you would have been more expensive. Pay attention, Scorpio. I will be with you every step of the way. We cannot let Ken Pang be killed. Consider this a business bonus. You are early. If the doorman at the opium den was right, they will soon bring Pang out into the courtyard to have him killed. Set the stage by killing all the guards, and then lure the gambling gangsters out.
parents now. Pick up the walkie-talkie and lure them out. I heard gunfire! Can we still go through with the execution? Uh... There was a small disturbance. We, we dealt with it. Good. I'm looking forward to pulling this worm in the ground. Oh, We're coming it. out. Please. I will get it all back to you. Should have thought about that before you threw away no, our money. Please. I swear I will make it right. Please, not like this. Take out the executioner first. Now, my old friend, we shall part ways. You will be sent to hell. Now, now, don't worry. Oh, you it? We have reports of fire, son. Please, mister, help me get out of here. Come on, let's go. They'll kill me for sure. Thank you. Thank you. You saved my life. I'm not here for your benefit, you worm. I'm looking for the white tiger. Okay, okay. I take you to him. Uh, get on one of the bikes and follow me. Soldiers, there's a price on my head, you know. You're going no place till I've seen the White Tiger. If the soldiers haven't killed them, they've evacuated. Uh, maybe you can find some sort of clue. These people are always leaving something behind. Hmm. A dead drop. Standard agency issue. Weird. I'll plug it in. Hola, amigo! It's your Uncle Shield! So, you finally found the dead drop? You'll be able to get to the new hideout using the tracker on your PDA. I done placed a beacon set to your frequency, hombre. Hurry up and get here and I'll fill you in on the story. Over and out. I guess it's pretty clear. Follow the beacon. Find Sheldon. A chopper! Seems my ride's here! Mind if I borrow this? Drop in, Hyundai. Sheldon? Heck, where's my manners? Some of my boys got a little carried away with their lynching. Ah! So now we got that squared. You know how close I came to killing you? Look at him roast, Rico. Dripping with delicious fat. I got him just where I want him. Kinda like I had you. <laughs> where are you going with this, Sheldon? The sloth demon, baby. Come on, Rico. <laughs> that was me all along. <laughs> I was playing you like a marlin off the keys. <laughs> sloth demon. Tom Sheldon. An anagram. You and your stupid war games. Sweet Mary Lou! Government troops! Mind if I borrow this? Might come in handy. Hey, you! Alright! Report the hostile in the area! All the available units respond! Okay, here's the lowdown. President Panay's got something going on. Something that made him turn on old Uncle Sam and look elsewhere for protection. I had to go deep undercover lest I be killed. This made the pencil pushers back at Camp Swampy think I had gone rogue. And they sent you after my ass.
window is going down here, Kimasabe. There's some major players on the bench, and they sure as hell ain't locals. Who? Not yet. And that pisses me off. I hate not knowing who's playing the game. I know the feeling, my friend. Follow me, Rico, and let's finish these clowns off. Seems I wasn't the only one looking for you. Yeah, that's another thing. Baby panties all over my ass, and my white tiger cover was waterproof. So somebody must have tipped them off that I'm here. Jade Dan? Nah, she's an agency asset. Couldn't you tell? And I thought she liked me for my personality. Then who? My money's on the sweet. He's the only one who knew I worked the white tiger angle. Carl Blaine. He did disappear. Not a trace. Oh, yeah? Hey, give me that PDA. Oh, heck, Rico. He offered to download some intel, huh? Oh. And he put a bug in it. Yep, he picked up a trick or two working for us, it seems. And then when the government caught him... He probably spilled his guts when they hid the booze. There. Now, if we have another barbecue, ain't gonna be no government gate crashers. 
Rico, my friend, I need you to do what you've been doing up until now. Keep that chaos building. Your gangster buddies are surely in deep with these unknown players, so you need to be in deep with them too. Soon the whole thing will come crashing down, revealing who's behind this big mess. Me? I'm gonna square my deal with my white tiger hirelings. Their job here is done. Glad to see you two have kissed and made up. Agency has all the dirty details now, buddy. So the heat is off. Right. And we have more pressing matters. Remember Jade Tan? How could I forget? Well, Blaine's ratted her out too. She was lifted by the Panawan Secret Service while researching the presence of international intelligence on Panau. From what we know of this regime, they'll torture her without asking questions. We've got to find her. Fast. Those guys don't hold back on the torture. Mm hmm. Look at this little bird. Sure have missed agency hardware. Rico, buddy, she's all yours. That damn sweet got the spine of a jellyfish. Go on and put the finger on ten. And she ain't just a pretty face, Rico. She got brains. Last contact we had, she was close to learning about Panay's plans and who's causing all this trouble. We need her back. Fast! You don't think she's dead already? Not before they put the screws on her. Now go to the facility where they're keeping Tan. Then cause as much chaos as possible. That should flush him out. Remember, check your PDA if you don't know what to do. Okay, here we are. Now go cause as much damage as you possibly can, and squeeze them out. They've got mounted gunners, Rico! Be careful!
spotted some radio bits and pieces here. They're fixing to abandon base with Jade. Keep doing the destructo, amigo, and we'll get them yet. I hate ninjas. Jinga, she's not here. Thanks for showing up, guys. You sure saved my, uh, bacon. Yep. Worth every bullet. Thanks to you, we know who's pulling the crime syndicate strings. Right. There are three puppet masters, all wanting to play on the Panal stage. The info's all on your PDA, Rico. Jade will give you the brief. Good to hear. First, there's Alexander Mieko, formerly Soviet Secret Service. He's a trained killer with links to every mob working the new Russia. But whether he's rogue or a Moscow stooge, 
your guess is as good as mine. Oh, my what we do know is that he's in deep with the roaches. Both share a taste in shiny suits and fat jewelry, I bet. Number two is the Chinese sadist Zhang Sun, a former military intelligence chief. Modern China likes to keep guys like Zhang hidden, but available. His Maoist talk of people power and industrial revolution has got the reapers eating out of his greasy palm. Nothing more dangerous than a crackpot ideologist. Except an ex-commie with gangster friends. Though I'm guessing you saved the best to last. Right, mister. This ex-general is certainly no saint. His name is Masao Washio. He was ejected from the Japanese army for torturing his own men. Washio's motto is said to be, pain is good, death is better. He's backed by a bunch of neocon industrialists and has hooked up with the tribal Ula boys. They sure must be impressed by this maniac. Man, a gang of worse psychos I never knew. That's for sure. But what has a little island like Panao got to offer them? They want baby Pane off the throne, and their marionette in his place. But why? We don't know. There must be some monster prize thereafter. These are serious players. Right. And guess what, Rico? You're gonna smoke them out into the open. And you won't be using no hickory chips. Barbecued pig, anyone? So, what are you gonna do now? What I do best cause chaos to force our eastern bad boys out into the open. Well, try to take a little care of yourself. There'll be time for that. Maybe you can give me a few ideas. Careful, mister. Rico Rodriguez delivers. Don't tell me. You found a hickory chip supplier. We hit the jackpot, Sheldon. The Russian Zhang Sun and our Japanese ex-general, they're all holed up in the Three Kings Hotel. And the best bit is, not one of them has any idea the others are there too. The Three Kings, huh? I should have known. Hotel's got the best damn bar on Panau, and waitresses to match. All the better for me to check in then. Better book a twin, buddy. I'm coming too. About time I saw some action, Hyundai. Can't let you have all the fun. There she is! The Three Kings! King can't be with us on this one. She'll be in conference with headquarters for a while, explaining what's been going on here. <laughs> okay, you take care of this Zane character and I'll try to locate the Ruski. Get to it! Of the stupid American dog? I saw you coming a mile away, Agency Minion. Now, the true power of Chinese fireworks will be revealed. <laughs> Chinese knew about it. Knew about what? And the Russians knew. And even the Japanese. But you Americans, you 
Yeah, since you're not the one being shot at. <laughs> now comes Hollywood to stake the claim. Too late, Buffalo Bill. Send me my tank. Now! Taste the wrath of Mother Russia. Sheldon, I didn't know you still had it in you. Rico, buddy, I'm as American as apple pie. And you know all real Americans hate commies. Our Japanese friend is still in his suite, preparing something nasty for us, no doubt. Get in there and take care of it. You army boy for defeating my Chinese and Russian competitors. And also for allowing me a chance to test my impressive battery of satellite controlled missiles. The new Turn towards Panau, but you remain in the dark. Indeed, America is now a blind monster, fighting 
without knowing why. Get back here, Rico. I fixed you up a mean margarita. All three superpower heavies eliminated, and still time for a beautiful margarita. I'm betting whatever brought those boys Pan away is the same thing that's made baby Panny tear up his contract with Uncle Sam. Figures. What now? It's time for the big squeeze, Rico. You need them factions thinking you're their brother, while you take them apart from the inside. More trouble there is, the more likely that Baby's gonna show his hand. And that's when we break it off. Nice work, Hand Eye. Cities are on fire, the gangs are running amok, every man and his dog is attacking government forces. And just like we hoped, that sniveling coward Pane has fled the city! And you got a lead on that little runt? All on your PDA, good buddy. Baby Panay's hiding place. Not for much longer. Won't be easy though, Rico. Once you've flown to the canyon entrance, you're gonna have to go in on the ground. The base and the palace are heavily fortified. My suggestion is that you call in one of your best faction buddies for support. I'll do that, my friend. Though I won't need any help cutting that dwarf down to size. <laughs> Just make sure you put Baby to bed for good, Rico. Cause when you're done, it's time for a little of what we do best at the agency. It's time for a little regime change. Of course, now I remember. Barbecues aren't your only skill. Well, thank you, Rico. A man likes to be appreciated for more than his suckling pig. But choose your faction wisely. They're gonna be with you all the way to the end game. It's the devil's company. But I guess I'm used to it. Time to choose, amigo. Which one you like best? Savage Ular Boy Shri, Sweet Pinko Reaper Bolo, or Old Grumpy Roaches Dawn Razor? Your choice! You would like to cut some cane with me, huh, Scorpio? Thanks for the offer, but I can offer you something else to cut. Baby Panay's throat. I found where he and his troops are hiding. Oh yes, most definitely. You just show us. Where? At last, the people of Fana will rise and shatter the chains of the imperialist oppressors. At last, the hour of the people has come, Scorpio. Using your information, I have created a plan for the attack. I shall be leading the attack via radio. Being a figurehead of the revolution, I am much too valuable to the cause to be harmed. Farewell, brave comrade.
to the last of the panels, just by that grotesque mouth and access it. This will get us... Okay, you ready, engineers and eggheads? Three, two, one, and access! Ah, that guy should floss more often. Now, Scorpio, find the little evil elf Pane and cut him down. Okay, now for the leprechaun. Ah, I have been expecting you, the American agent. Please tell me you are not also here to steal Panau's beautiful black gold. Oil. I should have guessed. Always this damn oil. Oil, la. Uh, more oil than any reserve on the whole planet. I am going to control the whole world. Oh no, little man. Not if I can stop it. Oh, hell. It was you, Panay. You who destroyed the only thing I love. And now that Jade is dead, we'll die together. Imbecile. <laughs> Grotesque. I command you to stop. Get that grenade away from me. Throw it away. Oh, yeah. Jade is still alive. She wanted to tell you something about... Uh, Never seeing you again. You know, it would have been polite to let me in on some of the mission details. It's all on a need-to-know basis, buddy. You know that. Hmm. I should have killed you back in the jungle. And miss out on that suckling pig? You'd have been crazy. Now Panay's dead, we got the all, and I can get cooking again. Sorry, no time for pleasantries, boys! Country's up for grabs, and we got tankers from the superpowers all heading this way. Doggone! Guess the barbecue's gonna have to wait. No hard feelings, huh, kid? No, but just remember that when it's your ass on the line. Well, sure thing, Rico. Now, you just keep shooting and lady killing. Let me handle the espionage, and together, we'll secure this all for the good old U.S. of A. It's time to protect and survive, boys. Chinese, Japanese, and Rusky super tankers are headed here. All of them are looking to secure the oil for themselves. Uncle Sam sent backup out from every damn atoll in the South Pacific. I want you to patrol the area in the chopper and take care of any non-American dare stick his nose in. Coordinates for the oil field. You go in there, secure the perimeter, and 
to wait U.S. back up. Oh, you don't think they'll mind us blowing up their tankers and all? <laughs> Hell, they're officially not here at all, just like us, buddy. Besides, you don't want the damn commies getting their dirty paws on all that oil now, do ya? Never did understand politics. What the? It's a doggone atomic submarine! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Your bird won't last long against that sub, Hyundai. Better get down and personal. Reports of violence in the sector. Respond to site immediately. President Pane, you're supposed to be dead. You forget, I am invincible. Especially now I can destroy who and what I want at the touch of a button. Yeah? How are you gonna push buttons when your fingers are broken? You will find my digits are working perfectly. And now, you die. Beat me! Son of an orangutan, go back to your monkey mother! Hungry Yankee with long legs, I kill you! You sneak of excrement, you big pig! Think you have one? That would be my impression. I have news for you. I have four nuclear missiles ready to blow. So if the Chinese, Japanese, or Russians try to screw me, <laughs> well, they're in for a nasty surprise. And the fourth? What do you think? It is, of course, pointed at the very wart on the face of the Earth America. And with this, I take my leave. I am invincible!
dogged for this. I'll have them tear off your skin and bolt you to a tree. Your suffering will be the stuff of legend. Looks like you'll be spending some time with your beloved oil after all. New target acquired. What are you doing with the guidance system? Oh, just a few minor changes. Still ain't sure why you nuked the damned oil field. You lost your mind, buddy? The spoils of our little revolution. That fossil sludge would have started the mother of all wars. And you know something, Sheldon? I'm not gonna die in no apocalypse. Just so some fat cat in Washington can drive his SUV to the hill tomorrow. I don't think the agency's gonna be smiling. Do you have any idea how much that oil was worth? Sure. But it ain't worth dying over. Damn, Rico, that's as just a cause as any. I guess. Besides, who's gonna tell him? It's all on a need-to-know basis, right? That's right. I should know. But what happens to Pinal? Well, since the oil's gone, all the others have lost interest. It's just us now. Pinal gets a new US-friendly president. And we continue to monitor our special little part of Southeast Asia. Home of the best barbecues in the East Indies. Got that right. Here's to a brighter tomorrow. Cheers, everyone. To a, a brighter, brighter tomorrow. tomorrow. Salud. Well, that's been my show, folks. Do keep it locked and loaded very well for me because I'll be back with more interesting videos like this. And look at the background.